close your eyes and focus on your breath. Remind yourself that you're sitting with a big potential for pleasure right here. There are lots of different ways of breathing. Some of them can be extremely pleasant. The more you focus on the breath, the more your awareness spreads through the body. It allows that pleasure to spread through the body as well. We do this not simply to have a nice place to stay. It's because when you're trying to deal with hardships, it's good to have a source of strength inside. So it's not hardships all around, that you've got a place where you can gain strength, gain nourishment, gain a sense of ease. It gives you the strength to deal with things that are difficult. Recently I heard someone say that you shouldn't try to adjust the breath, just learn to be with the breath however it is, and that will teach you how to be with whatever you have to deal with outside. That's not really the case. You can deal with unpleasant breaths, but there are things outside that are a lot more unpleasant that can knock you over if you don't have a good place inside where you can take refuge. So learn how to understand your breath, learn how to work with the breath. So it does provide that place of refuge. Of course, ultimately you will have to leave the body, but in the meantime you will have learned how to get the mind centered, and that centered mind then becomes your, becomes your true refuge. But in the meantime, the breath helps you get there. You take whatever you get, and these things, as I said yesterday, are very close. They're right here. This potential for pleasure is with you all the time. So when things look bleak, we'll look inside and find a sense of pleasure here. We'll learn how to work with the breath, make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, whatever it needs in order to provide a sense of well-being inside. There was once a time when the Buddha was recommending to the monks that they practice breath meditation. One monk said, yes, I practice breath meditation. The Buddha looked at him and said, what kind of meditation do you do? He said, well, I put aside thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future, and I'm just equanimous in the present. And the Buddha said, well, there is that kind of breath meditation, but it doesn't give great results. The great results come when you follow the 16 steps, and one of the 16 steps is learning how to breathe with a sense of rapture, breathe with a sense of pleasure. So you can use that rapture and use that pleasure as part of your path. So don't forget, there is a source of pleasure right here, potential for pleasure right here. It's with you all the time. <laughs>